Hello everyone and welcome. This video we are going to see how we can plot or get to know the feature importance importance in decision tree. So in our previous video we have seen how to plot the decision tree, right? So whatever decision tree we have formed, how to plot it. So we have seen this in our previous video. Now let's see. How do we know the feature importances in this forming decision tree? So here we can write here if I write my decision tree classifier that is final our final underscore D tree right final D T dot feature feature underscore importances importances then underscore. So if I write this, I will get the feature importance of each variable that we have, how much they are contributing to form this decision tree. So we will know the feature importance of each variable if I execute this command. So here final D tree is our classifier, decision tree classifier and we are writing dot feature underscore importances underscore. So if I run this, I will get this value, right? So I get an array giving me all this value. So these are the value. These are the their importances of the features in forming this decision tree. Now here, if you see, it doesn't makes lot of sense here, right? So we don't know the feature name. So here we can also let's create a data frame and also the feature names and the importances their corresponding importances so here i'm going to write df equals to pd dot data frame pd dot data frame all right and here we are going to create a data frame so here we are going to have our feature names as one of our column so feature names equals to and it is going to be our x dot column so it is going to give us our feature names right and in another column we want the importance of that feature so here we are going to create another column we are going to call this as importances importances right and here it is going to be our d underscore sorry final underscore d underscore three dot feature underscore importances right and here let's print our df as well and now let's run this right so here now you will see the features and their importances so we have this p class and the importance of that feature is 0.22 then we have the age and importance of age is 0.142 in forming this decision tree. Then we have this sex male, right? And here it is having the most importance, almost 0.47, right? Almost 40% of the importance is of this variable that is sex male, right? And here if you see, this embarked Q is not contributing anything in our feature importances or forming this decision tree. So we can make a decision to drop these variables which are not adding any value in forming this decision tree, right? So here, this is not in the ascending or descending order. So let me make it that way. So let's sort this features according to their importances so here i can write df dot sort underscore values and we are going to sort it by their importances by their importances so i think i should be capital here all right now if you run this you will get this in your descending order right so here, sorry it's in ascending order so we have 0 then 0 0.0048 so here we can also give 
your ascending equals to false ascending equals to false and now if i run this here you see we have this importances right so we have sorted it in your descending order so we have first we have this sex male right and the importance of it is 0.468 right then we have p class then we have age then fair then c best p then m bug it is having 0.01 right so you can make a decision to drop this variable or to keep them based on your business problem or your understanding all right now here you can also plot this feature importances right so we can just write plt dot bar right and here i can give df df and x axis we want our feature names feature names comma on y axis we want the df and their importances their importances and here let's keep this into df underscore one so it is in a sorted format right so we want the graph to be sorted as well so here let's give it as tf underscore one and here as well let's give it this as tf one and let's just show this bar graph and now if i run it you'll see so we haven't run the previous cell so let's run this and now again let's run this and here you see you have this bar chart which tells you the importance of every feature right so here but using this feature importances we get to know the how much importance that feature has in forming this decision tree here in building our decision tree and if some variables are contributing less you can decide to either keep them or to drop them from your model building so it is a really helpful in knowing what feature are important from this decision tree or you can also use this as feature selection technique for your model building right so i hope you understand it now and you can explore this even further so thank you very much for watching this video and for what many such videos please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel thank you